I don't feel like going to church. Because every time I go to church, pastor have to help me with the fear to go home. Pastor have to help me with the groceries. Pastor have to help me with the rent. I don't want to be a stress and a bother to anybody. I'd rather just stay home. God says, I'm dealing with you and where it hurts the most. Where it hurts the most is where God wants to bless you the most. Where you are struggling the most is where God wants to bless you the most. Debt. Yeah. Can't pay the bill. That's where God wants to bless you the most. Insecurity. That's where God wants to bless you the most. Tonight God says we are going into the box and we're going to take off everything. The things that you should not be carrying, the weight and the baggage. God says tonight we're going to unbox some things and we're going to begin to make space. Because I can't add the oil and all of the baggage and the weight I can't add the anointing to all of the weight of the past. But says tonight we're taking everything out of the box and we're making room for more of him. God says I need capacity. Yeah. Yeah. Emptiness is what I need. There's some of you, you may not want to unbox because if you unbox, they're no longer the center of attention. I remember myself last night, the last one who preached, I told you who no one I hear. If you want best, make sure you come back tomorrow night, see I'm your best, I'll come back. You don't want to be healed and be delivered and face the truth, the truth of who you are. I'm imperfect, I don't have it all figured out. I can't go to TGIF every Friday. I can wear a nice new suit every time I come to church. This is who I am for real. I have issues. Church, you must say neighbor. I have some issues. Some on a husband, I give him a bun. Wife don't want cook and clean. Work. Is going wrong. But tonight God says, I'm dealing with it. Deal with it. So people want people to always come and pity them. Self pity is not going to take you anywhere. Being victim is not going to take you anywhere. There's some people rather to have everything in the box. So when somebody comes, you can use it and be victim and say, Oh, they're always hurting me and using me and this and that. So that you can get the love and the pity from somebody. No. God says, I want to be, I want to heal you and I want to deliver you completely. Come on, somebody say, Lord. Lord. that I've been holding on to in Jesus name come on tonight God says it's not the season to hold the things of the past let some people go if people want to leave your life allow them to go take them out of the box and allow them to go if you have lost some things in the past okay you lost some things it's time to let you go and move on because what God's going to give you your
Jesus is true with me. And if it's your husband and you can't leave the house, I love your baby. But you have to go in the closet for an hour. And then I come out. If you're hungry, your food in the microwave. But I have to deal with some things. God says tonight we are unboxing. You have to be able to un listen. Some of you have some purpose, some gifts, and some talent. You have some great ideas and hidden at the bottom of your box but there are so many things that are covered with your purpose if somebody you begin to dig up some things out of your box you will spend a long time in the city so that they could have still seen but never know that I used to preach I didn't remember I used to saw I used to draw I used to love the fashion designer if somebody you begin to unbox some things that God will begin to of who you truly were. Am I talking to anybody? Some of you used to love dance. You used to love sing. You used to draw and write poetry. Some of you are so good at writing poetry and writing in your diary that the weight and the burden of the past has covered that passion. That passion that should become a paycheck to you. Some of you have to try to dig 